What's going on guys, Gitchy1230 here with episode 28 of GTA 5 Talk, and today's topic was submitted by Lankaslavikles, and he slash she said, do episode 28 on wildlife and underwater. Now, this is a topic that I've been getting submissions for for actually weeks, maybe even months now, so many of you guys have uh, requested to see this, so that is going to be today's topic. Alright, so getting started, as we all know, Grand Theft Auto 4 really was not an appropriate game for animals. It took place in New York City, so I mean, you had the occasional seagull that you could kill, but besides that, the only things that you really have running around New York City, for the most part, are gonna be like, I don't know, sewer rats, a stray dog, a few birds, things like that. But now that we are in, uh, California, Los Santos, this is a perfect place for animals. You know, we've got a bustling map full of different ecosystems, forests, and underwater, and all that good stuff, so this is finally the game that we we're gonna see a, uh, a good amount of wildlife in, uh, in Grand Theft Auto. As we all know, Red Dead Redemption had a fair amount of wildlife. You know, they, they had armadillos, they had deer, things like that. So that was really cool that we could hunt things and um, do things like that. But for it to come to Grand Theft Auto, that's a completely new twist on the series, and I'm actually very excited to see it in the game. So dogs were the first animal that we saw confirmed in Grand Theft Auto. In the first trailer, we saw a dog standing on the beach, and that was awesome. And then we saw Franklin do Franklin's dog Chop shortly after, which is a Rottweiler. Cute looking little dog there, and uh... <laughs> that tells us right off the bat that there are gonna be more dogs in Grand Theft Auto than just Franklin's dog Chop. Because they're not gonna make a game and only have one dog, or even one breed of dog. You know, that's like making Grand Theft Auto and putting only one type of car in it. At that point, they'd be better off not putting dogs in at all. But since we we know that Rottweilers are in, I suspect that we're going to see the cops using German Shepherds as their canine units, and I also think that we'll see uh, pedestrians with other types of dogs, whether it's on the beach, on the sidewalk, in their yards, or anything like that. And then that's got to make us wonder, if there are dogs as pets, what about other animals? Could there be cats and other things? I don't know. So then, moving on to the actual wildlife portion, uh, hands-on previews confirmed the inclusion of deer, coyotes, bobcats, and cougars in Grand Theft Auto V. So that alone is actually a very good start on animals in my opinion. I love that we're gonna see cougars and bobcats. That's gonna add a really, a really cool aspect to exploring the woods and the mountains, you know? It's no longer just like, oh, walking alone aimlessly, like, with no real threat. For, <laughs> for once, we're actually gonna have a threat of being attacked and maybe even, you know, being able to hunt things. Maybe we can skin the animals. Maybe we can sell the hides. Maybe we can even eat the meat. Who knows? I'm just exploring ideas here, but I think that would be really cool. So if they already confirmed those uh, four animals, what else are we going to see in the wildlife? I'm suspecting that since this is California, it would be logical to assume deer, black bears, beavers, ducks, mountain lions, all those things that are common throughout California and just the southwestern United States, those are all very common animals. So it would definitely be reasonable to see those animals in the game. And then I'm assuming that the animals wouldn't be too hard to program, because they could bring some things over from Red Dead Redemption, and uh, obviously they already have those things filed and stored away and programmed and all that good stuff. So now moving on to the underwater portion of the wildlife. Sharks were, as I said before, they were confirmed to us, and that was awesome to see in that screenshot. And um, one thing that I came across on the internet was something that I did not previously know. It said a, uh, a shadow of a moray eel can be seen in the upper left-hand corner of a gameplay screenshot. So I looked back at the screenshot, and uh, yeah, that, that was true. There was a shadow of an eel. So that tells us that there are not only sharks, but eels, and of course, we know there are going to be a bunch of fish. Um, I'm assuming these are going to be a lot of exotic fish because this is the ocean, so maybe we'll see like some clownfish and uh, things like that. Maybe some coral reefs, because Rockstar said that the, uh, the ocean floor will be fully detailed, so that would only be logical to assume that there would be some coral reefs. And then there are still even more possibilities. There are dolphins, stingrays, jellyfish, anything like that. Maybe if we want to get into the myths and legends, maybe even sirens or mermaids. That would be a cool little Easter egg to throw in. Um, but I don't know, guys. Uh, that, that pretty much does it for me. That is a, a good idea of what's been confirmed to us so far from Rockstar themselves. Everything that I said in this video is, uh, is what we know so far. So, as always, tell me what you think in the comments below and continue submitting your topics for future GTA 5 Talk episodes and vote up those comments that you like from other people. And uh, with that, guys, I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.